It's not its fault, right? And when I say it, I'm referring to the computer because it has no gender. It doesn't have sex organs. I know some of you are sad about that. But ultimately, it's for the better. Construction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what's the big picture? We need a wheel. But before we try to construct anything, let's make sure we have a good wagon set up to deliver this stuff. I know you guys have, like, used cylindrical patterns to roll large rocks far distances and all that, but those artifacts don't matter because they're not useful to me, sorry. I have no idea what the fuck any of that means. So, I'm not sure where I'm going with this, but it's somewhere. Wow. Look at that. It's like a little weird sticky outy part. I always thought the world huh. Oh, this this thing is turning out to be an awesome shape really. You know, the the world. Oh, human resources is losing population just a little bit. Good job on that library, dude. I am really pleased that you have managed to get so much work done. The main thing the courthouses seem to do. No, that's not actually what I wanted to do. I wanted to see what else you could build. Oh, well, that's perfect. Yeah, I think I just made a stupid horse noise instead of saying words. That's actually kind of fun. I'm super proud of that marketplace you built. I want you to know that. I want you to feel that. I want you to understand just how pleased I am with the work you've managed to do. Okay, great. Uh, don't let me forget to kill that guy's family. Uh, my man, my man. No, 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 no. And that's that's not where you guys are going. The pathetic Zulu, the mediocre Incas. We've only got 30 gold. What the hell are these other people doing? If we're mediocre, somebody out there is a failure. Great work on the harbor. I, I am very happy. Because now, even if the roads experience serious damage, you're still going to get those incredibly useful resources like iron out to everybody. In addition, you're going to be receiving you know, some nice luxuries. Those will make people happy. Uh, marketplace will improve their effectiveness. But, obviously, the only thing y'all really need to know is that it's time to grow again. The two guys, like, are working next to each other, and one really wants to build a mine, but the other one knows you build a road first, so that if you need help, everybody else can get to you sooner. Now that we're starting to make some money... Yeah, where's my domestic advisor? There you are. I don't know what you were doing in that part of this building. I need to know who is producing wealth. I see. And this place has not yet produced the market. 
We're still making money. Arc. The courthouse first, of course. And yes, human resources is just doing what's the word that means absolute shit at its job. It's fine. We're still ahead of schedule. Boom boom. Welcome to Boom Boom. Boom Boom is the happiest place. A place where people can be happy and experience happiness. Also, I think it's uh, going to be settler time here soon. Because obviously that city's just going to straight up be an expense. Until it's got something solid underneath it. I'm surprised at how poorly interconnected my cities are. Mm okay. Good, good, good. He's only a little bit off from having a secondary connection there. Which is nice. I'm just always worried about that kind of thing. I'd really prefer it if they completely interconnected everything with perfect networks of roads, you know, that are as perfect as possible, but obviously I understand that they cannot be perfect. Oh. Alright. That was a thing I wanted. It was for you to yeah. Okay, zoom to coup. Uh, I guess that was Baby Jesus playing the game again. No, carry on. I am super happy that it's only taking you nine turns. Alright, Barbie. I'll be honest. I'd rather you just build roads. Let those guys clear and worry about all that shiznit. Harbor, library, marketplace. Can we afford can we afford to build a marketplace here? It looks to me like there's a serious shortage. Harbor, contact governor. There's a shortage. Why is there a shortage? And it's because somebody doesn't understand what their job is. I don't care if it grows zero. We can't afford to have people starving to death like that. What you were planning on allowing there was entirely unacceptable. Entirely. All right, let's let's take a bigger look at this. I didn't know for sure I was going to do that, but it happened, so. Hmm, what will feudalism let me build? Zonzu's Art of War. That could be a huge deal for me. Intelligence operatives and espionage to the war effort. Wow. Uh, when does this thing break down? Well, I don't think we're militaristic, right? We're the Inca. We're like religious or some sh isn't it? Well, either way, Monsieur Science, you are one ugly bastard. I just want you to know that. Bridge rivers and plant- oh, thank god for bridges. <laughs> Those will save us so much time. Uh, 
Um, can be found through the North America. Sitting Bull, Geronimo, and Crazy Horse are but a few of them that you may encounter. You must defeat them and others like them if you want to control the continent. Wow. That's, that's actually pretty good. Like, I still have adversaries and goals and the like. Like, the dinosaurs have created this no-go zone. Where nobody goes because it's... The no goes on. The Cherokee. Well, if I can taunt them into attacking, I'll be at a tiny advantage. But the truth is, we should soon have the ability to produce a proper iron weaponry, which will really improve our abilities. Foods are not growing because you're not getting enough food, but you're being incredibly productive, I understand. We should build the Great Wall. That would save us at least three gold a turn. Right, and you, QT. Sure. And we'll, we'll leave it on that, even though... Boom, boom. Love it. In nine turns, we'll be able to go over bridges and shit with their, with uh, over rivers and shit with bridges, which is nice. I'm kind of tempted to keep somebody nearby in a slightly advantageous position, but I don't really want to start any troubles with these dudes. I'll, I'll take their land from them when it's time, but for the moment, I don't really need it. I don't need to go running around killing people for it for certain. Eventually, they might become an issue, I guess. But as long as they don't mess with me, I won't systematically murder all of their people. Also, I think somebody, uh, well, I mean, it's kind of unfortunate that that's the only option I have if I want to take the continent. Because I can't leave it, because if I leave it, then the Ruskies are going to get it. And the Ruskies, of course, are the people who live on the other great land. This land is massive, but the other one is apparently much, much larger, right? I don't know, it's all like myths and legends and shiznit. Probably not real. But maybe, you know. Who knows, it certainly turns out that this continent's been huge. We got attacked by the Sioux. It was just a raiding party, I mean. To be honest, we're definitely living better lives than that. Yeah, see, he's not attacking you, so don't attack him. Well, that's, that's what's about to happen here, folks. Yep, we are about... Should I irrigate it? Mm -hmm. It'll make us better able to run those areas up there, that's for certain. 
but I think seven is plenty. He has zero growth, but that's fine. You can wait until you guys have. Courthouse first, and then a marketplace. I, th I think that's good priorities. Oh, you fucking asshole. Yeah. The problem with this... Holy shit, he just... Did he just do that? Oh, wow. Okay. I can't believe you just attacked the Sioux, but... Congratulations on winning. Maybe it was an honorable duel. You know, in accordance with the laws. First of all, we'll tell his kids at least, right? I mean, because he's totally dead. He is not coming back home. There's no way he's going to make it back. I'll send in some backup. At the very least, I suppose I can probably manage to avenge a death. I mean, given that they'll be fairly weakened. I hope. Too much focus on entertainment. And people starve. I'll allow that town to learn that lesson the hard way. I've already told them once. Build a market fucking place, and then you will be able to market all your stuff, and that will make you happy, I hope. I mean, I don't want people to be sad, but I understand that it's just gonna happen. Okay. You might as well take him out, because that camp's probably going to be useful to me. Two veterans. Okay, you attack from over here. You're doing good, you're doing good, you're doing great. Now your friend up there is going to completely take it out. What's right here? Tobacco? Oh my god. Okay, irrigate the shit out of that. You guys are to defend that location. Alright, not quite what I wanted. Um... Yeah, I reckon that's good. I think that's a... Good distribution of dudes. A good dude distribution. Okay, irrigate, come on. Feudalism, he says. Ugh. I think, mmm. Um, yes, monotheism next. Well, it's making money. And there's nothing wrong with a city that's making some good old fashioned money. Hmm, I understand. None of its improved areas are, well, 
None of them are valuable to the fortress itself. Yes, both of them must station themselves there. Once the area has been irrigated, we will move in a southerly direction. Hopefully it will be a sufficient demonstration of how we intend to make use of the land we will take. And if that doesn't cause them to surrender peacefully, well, I can't think of anything else. I mean, surely once they see that our way of life is better than theirs. Perhaps I should send somebody in to uh, intercept. Yes, that is my plan. You will change your production. You will build a Jaguar Warrior. Although why you have no gold, I will never know. Or no iron, rather. Because you do, right? You have iron. Okay, so, iron. Okay, iron working. Right? So, Gaelic swordsman. I see. And... Okay. None of these... Do I get swordsmen? We'll build a settler. Take it right there. Coliseum. Uh, your happiness balance is a little bit more northerly than expected, really. I'm surprised that there's zero growth. So, we're going to send out a worker, and they're going to investigate the terrain and sort of tell you what's going wrong here, because there has to be something going wrong in order for it to, you know, decelerated to that point. Maybe I can only build pikemen. Like, maybe that's seriously a thing. Because I don't have any spearmen either. Boom boom. No, not new. Boom boom. Very well. The time has come. You must be prepared to defend the great city of Boom boom. I know it seems terrifying, but I just want everybody to know that the city of Boom boom regardless of your actions, will prevail. It's time to uh, begin our project to take the north. I think this will be a great and powerful city. Oh, sweet Jesus. They penetrated through our defenses. How did we not see that coming? Oh 
man. Those workers are going to be difficult to place. It'll take years to train somebody who's at that level of skill again. Uh, and the loss of the population isn't great. That guy was somebody's father. Or gal, or whatever. Doesn't matter, does it? He's fucking dead. I'm waiting for a loading screen to die. Waiting for a loading screen to why? Because this game is slow. Yeah, you're done? Yeah, you realize that the things I told you to build that were gonna be done in one turn, like, suddenly existed at the end of the turn? Amazing. I... I think you deserve a award for being the best at that thing that you're doing. Get up there. Get ready to, uh, support the cause. By which I mean, of course, systematically destroy all of your enemies. Also their families. Get on the opposite side of the river. We were vulnerable for an entire turn there, but I think the intelligence was pretty important. We're going to have to reduce our science funding. See? They have swords. Oh great, they're going to send their best man last. That's okay, because reinforcements just got freed up. Once you don't have all these guys ready for combat, gonna wreck your shit. Their techniques must all be the same. That's the only possible way that one of my guys could be getting through somebody with such superior equipment. Their training must be terrible. It's really too bad. If these people would just stop attacking us, I would be more than glad to permit them to. Well, it doesn't matter. So much death. Why do they come to us to die? Well, I mean, don't get me wrong, we totally, like, took out their village, but let's start it off as an accident. We love the Emperor. Now I'm an Emperor. Emperor. Well, don't worry. Something's gonna go right. Yeah, guys. Guys, guys, guys. I've got to tell you something. The science thing, it's cute and all. Yeah, thanks. That's right, I need you to stay on that side of the river. I don't know how that dinosaur could have moved through so quickly. What is it? Moves three steps, dear sweet baby god.
guys, you and your friend are preparing to assault. That is currently the best place for you to attempt to defend yourself. Well, obviously this world is way too big for mega people. That's okay, because when it's not playing the game, that gives me time to, like, think and clear my head, talk to the camera, work at my enunciation. There's no camera on, it's just a microphone. Okay. We're real proud of our Jaguar Warriors, don't get me wrong. But stop already. Alright, build your road to there. A crew. What, this place can't build anything awesome? Oh, we'll go right there. See, the river's there to sort of reduce its ability to move. That way we can put multiple defenders on a single location. Separation of the river really does protect the city, so if we can get ourselves in such a place that an injured individual would be able to step immediately into the city, that could be useful. But somehow I'm doubting that anybody's going to manage to quite survive an attack from this thing. I think they could counterattack and take it out, but I feel like no matter what happens, I'm probably going to lose at least one moderately valuable. Yeah. Okay, workers. Tag that guy, take the other side of the river. It will expose you to a place where you're more likely to take damage, but backup's just on the other side. And there's a worker right there. Which I think, if I remember correctly, that worker may be able to assist us by um, building a fortress, if I recall correctly. Not that it matters. By the time this freaking turn is finished, the sun will have risen six times. Oh, a settler. That's one of the things I needed. And you still can't upgrade, right? Alright. Um... Yeah, just keep making workers. See, so I'm not really sure how the whole pretending to sing a song thing works, but I'm pretty sure people get in trouble for it. I don't like trouble. Oh, that is so lovely. So lovely having that built. Super proud of you. Is there a river in between you and here? Looks like it. Yeah, build a fortress. Ah, 
Oh shit. See, now I'd normally just kind of zone out on the music and go all quiet because the game's not giving me anything to say. But I guess this is when I'm supposed to run my mouth for a little bit. Which is. Alright. Obviously, this was a bad choice for the long term thing. But. Okay, so that means I will have pikemen, and I will have medieval warrior from Eastern Europe, Poland and Hungary. Troops who fight on foot, even though transported to the battlefield by horses, ships, aircraft, tanks, and other motorized vehicles, skis, or other means are classified as infantry. This term applies equally to troops armed with weapons such as the spear, sword, and mace in ancient and medieval times. As with most foot soldiers, the objective of the medieval infantry was to seize and hold territory, often in an attempt to occupy enemy territory. Despite the temporary dominance of cavalry in the feudal and Middle Ages, infantry has been the largest single element in Western armies since ancient times. Now, if it would let me read that shit while it was loading, that would be great. But I have to wait till it's done. It's like, okay, I've let you have your fun. Now sit here and stare at this empty screen for a little while. Jagju. Jagju. Wait until you have backup. Why are you guys moving? Holy shit, did they manage to get a road built? No. Well, I don't know why that happened. A. Give it a shot, give it a shot, give it a shot with your freaking axe. Stab in his face, stab in his face, stab in his face with the big ass rock. Still don't have steel, still don't have steel, still don't have steel, cause you hate me. Go cheese. No, you... You can afford him. He's just there to, like, take out anybody who's super weak and to kind of draw attention. If they decide they're going to mass attack, he's in a fairly bad position for defending compared to where he could be. And I doubt that they're going to attack the stronger force. So if they did that, then that would allow the weaker force to either gain experience or lose. Um... And if he lost, then he would leave a weakness for the other guy to go in and take out the big dude. But they're probably smart and mostly attack with their weaker troops. Okay, any place that's making wealth needs to make a cathedral. Because we need cathedral. Yes. You know how we're making money right now? Yes, the great construction of courthouses. Yes, I know what will cure your problems. First off, build like three workers. Followed by a cathedral. Okay. The Illuminati said that this is the way to do it. Cathedral. Zoom. Hmm. Yeah, Alright. Surprising we've not built the Forbidden Palace. Come to think of it. Is somebody trying to build the Forbidden Palace? 
It's forbidden for a reason. Not that any of them care. I mean, they're they're all basically greedy sociopaths anyways. Oh good, he's on the other side of the mountain. No, I'm not. I'm not done yet. Okay, let me. Okay, everybody who's here, stop what they're doing. Building the mine. Building the mine. Building the mine with your bare hands. Oh man, he's already taken some damage. This is a serious fight. All right, this is leaving some people vulnerable. Come on, you're on the other side of the river. You can do it. You can do it, dude. Oh, he lost. He moved too close. You should have had him hold position right at our borders, and then moved him out in a fan motion. <sighs> I overvalued the intelligence, I guess. Which is really a stupid move for me to be making. Freaking amateur. Cathedral, you say? Well, let's see what your population says. Your population says it's wasting money on entertainment that it could be spending on regular things. Like murder. Make sure it doesn't try and cross the river. Oh wow, it's not doing very well, is it? Good job. Very good job. Oh, I can't, I can't rename him because that counts as a move, because of course it does. Go right there. Okay. So, what you're telling me is that this idiot somehow missed the memo on the whole dinosaur ripping faces off thing. And he just decided to run right up to him? I don't know what the hell this dude is fighting, but he is kicking its ass. Or he's just tripping balls. I mean, there's nothing that takes that long. Now remember, the number one thing to remember when you're taking out the T-Rex is to have one guy try and distract it. While the other guy goes for the knees. And if it's just one of you, uh, run away very quickly. Now, as much as I would like to have you two attack in tandem, we'll start with attacking from the jungle. Maybe you'll catch him by surprise. Good job on the supporting role there. Um, your mother called. She's very proud. I can't do that voice. I can't talk like I'm from Boston. I'll work on it. Okay. The rest of you now have permission to explore.
Yes. Your name is Rob. And this dude down here. Um, well, whatever. Explore. Elite warriors, you say? Well, if I don't start taking them out faster, I'm going to be here for all of eternity. And suddenly they're no longer interested in trying to attack us, but they haven't yet surrendered. Maybe they don't know that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know, though. It's really hard to explain it to them. And I know, I know. Because it's hard isn't a good enough reason to stop trying to do the right thing. It's just... How am I supposed to get people who are all the way up there to even remotely listen to what I say? I mean, they might as well just do whatever it is they think is best. Besides, they were planning on holding a massive uprising. It's the only reason why you'd ever build up on guns. It's not like those people think that having weapons is some sort of, like, right, right? They understand that having a weapon is, like, necessary only if you're a member of the great and glorious government that is mine. Or, you know, if I've determined you're not completely batshit insane. That works, too. Good job, Boom Boom. Okay, so I want you. Oh dear, it was way down there. I want to build another city. Right there, that looks like a good place. It's in the middle of the desert, only vaguely connected to the ocean. It's kind of in the north. I think it'll be good. This guy hasn't gotten any experience, which is really disappointing. But he's taken damage, so surely he'll learn from that one. No? No, not, not even then does the guy understand what he's going through. Okay, you need to irrigate this. It makes food. We value food. All right. Your new name. Right. I sent somebody on a quest up there. Um, that's a good spot, I'm sure. Those wetlands are taking forever to get clear. Next turn, he'll be completely full up. I mean, what would have happened if I tried to build a city right next to the... 
would they have reacted hostily? I mean, I have, I haven't really a way of knowing. Now you stay right there. Okay. Each of you can go to no more forward. We need to move ever forward. We all know it to be true. He will be given the final opportunity to take the camp. I will permit him to rest, because that last battle was obviously a little bit more than he strictly had planned on having to handle. Forbidden Palace, Capital Worker, Cathedral. Yes, I'll need the Cathedral. Arc. Arc will require some assistance eventually. In fact, one of you should build a road from here to there. The rest of you should clear this land. Oh, that's not really. I guess he's really concerned about that place. Oh my dick. Okay, that seems like a perfect place for me to save my game and stop it. I'm sure I won't forget that at all. All my happy peeps, all my peeps are happy. Yeah, I like my peeps anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Guys. Oh, shit. I can't say that now. I keep forgetting. There's, uh... There's, like, this new group out or something. Or racists. And I'm not supposed to say that, because that's their name. But I don't like them, because they're racist, so... I don't know. I don't know where the fuck I was going with that. What I do know is that I need roads to Tambo, Colorado, starting as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, you're gonna build that road. Okay, time to save. Okay, and now that that's done, I can do the thing I wanted to do.